Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I wanted to make a little guide on Red Dead Online on one of the new missions, Cold Day in Hell. Now this is a different type of Telegram mission that was released today, and on this mission, basically, if you complete this mission stealth, you get a little bit more money. And show, I'll show you how to complete this mission stealth with the strategy that I have here. Now if you start off on this side, where I am right here, just cut across basically the snowy um, field in the middle here, kind of like at a diagonal from where you start. Just keep going this way. And then once you um once you finish you get across there will be like a little um road cross that and then after that road there will be actually be a little bit of a river cross that too and then just keep stay on the left side of the river go up towards Coulter and then kind of climb up on the snowy hill right here now if you actually spawn on the other side because there's two angles that you can spawn at if you spawn on the other side just basically keep left the entire time go north towards Coulter if you're on the other side just keep left and follow the river until you get to the same exact hill so basically you want to get to this point when you're on the left side of the town from where you come from. Now the reason we're taking this route like all the way on the left side here is because there's a camp as you can see on my right. So if you actually follow the path up towards Coulter, you will probably get spotted by that camp. And this is also an easier way to get to that point that I was talking about. So like I said, if you spawn on the right side, you know, just cut across that snowy field at a diagonal um, way, go across the river, and then go all, all the way up to Coulter, keep to the left side of the river until you're kind of near that um, little hill, snowy hill, you get on top of it. That's basically it. Okay, so here's what I like to do. Leave your horse right here, get out your bow and arrow, take this guy out right here. Make sure it's a headshot, because when it's a headshot, it's instant kill, you don't get detected for that. Go down the hill, make sure you have your tomahawks ready, then get your knife out. Now, as you move up right here, you're going to see a guy right here. He has to go. Now, if you're really quick, you can take this guy out before the guy on the right side sees. But if you're, you're not quick, then you can do this. See that guy on the right side there? Wait until he turns around. The moment he turns around, knife this guy and kill him. Then go for this guy next. Use painted black with the tomahawk. Aim for his body. Because if you hit him with tomahawk in the leg or the arm, he will survive. So right there, we got him. We got him in one hit. Now get the tomahawk back because those are pretty expensive. And what I like to do is I like to hide this guy's body just to be safe. If that guy actually gets too close to the road, you can get detected. I've had that happen to me before. And so I just hide him behind the building. I ended up picking him up here a second time because I just wanted to put him up a little bit more behind the building. Okay, so we hide him here. Now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to start checking buildings. Now there's three possible buildings where the um, the list can be in. And this guy right here, this guy's gonna you're going to want to take this guy out right here. Right here, get him with a headshot. Okay, we got that guy. Okay, now then, we're going to check this this building first. This building has no enemies inside it, so you don't have to worry. No, nothing. There's no, no um, list in here. You will notice the list in there if there's a chest in that building. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to wait for that guy. You see that guy that's coming down the road? You want to watch out for that guy. That's the guy that I worry about a lot. So we're just going to hide right in here. You can kind of zoom out also just to see exactly um, a, a little bit outside. And we're going to wait till he comes up here. I'm going to speed up the clip a little bit right now. Just sit right here, wait for him. He will be up here in a moment. And uh, also, you, if you find the list in this building, you don't have to kill that guy. Because if there's somebody you don't have to kill, you know, why bother? Because then it increases your risk of getting detected. So if you find a list in this building and the guy's coming, just wait until he turns around. It will take him like a minute to turn around, but just wait until he turns around. Let's get right behind the building and get to the horse. I'll show you guys how to leave at the end, um, but right now I'm just going to focus on showing you guys how to loot each building in case it is that. So take out that guy right there. Once this guy stops right here, take him out, the one that's on the road. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hide this guy because I just don't feel comfortable leaving this guy's body in the road. A lot of people actually forget that you can move bodies in this game. So it's going to put this guy right in this building here. Just make sure just nobody finds him. Okay, now we're going to move up to this house. Now this is the second place where the um, uh, the second place where the list could be. Okay, we're going to pick this guy up right now. And we're going to hide him inside the house. Now if the list is in the house, it's going to be in the bedroom on the right side. Okay, now there's a guy inside here, but he's always sleeping. However, though, you're going to want to kill him just to minimize risk of getting detected. I recommend using a bow and arrow. Hit him right here. Going to try to hit him in the head. If you if you hit him and it doesn't kill him, you should be able to kill him really quickly. Just make sure you shoot him a second time. Just do it really fast before he gets up, and you'll still be good. So there's nothing inside that room. Let me show you guys a different way to get in there. 
Okay, so here's the other um, approach that you can actually take. Now, th this one is a little bit harder, but if you want to get in the central building, the one I just killed the guy in with the bow and arrow, this is how you do it. So you basically do that same strategy that I showed you guys, but instead, you go around to the back here. Run around here, take out that guy right near the water. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wait until this guy right here stops. There's going to be a guy that keeps walking around the side of the building here. Wait until this guy stops, get him with a headshot. Take him out right there, he's done. Okay, now there's this guy back here. This guy sometimes walks all the way towards the house. Take him out just to be safe, because I've been spotted by that guy before. Take him out. Okay, those two guys are done. Now what we do is we go towards that same middle house, and we actually um, go in through the side door. So there's actually a side door that you can go in through. So let's move up in that house. Move up right here. And I... And just make sure that there's nobody here around, especially like on the street and everything. I was just being really cautious, but you take out those two guys and you can actually walk in right here. Now, at this point, I actually don't have the guy at the front door taken out because I'm just going to go out the side door. And so I'm in the building again. That's another way that you can get in if you want to do that. And um, you can use a tomahawk, but I recommend the bone arrow. So you guys see my tomahawk actually got stuck in the door here. And right here, I hit the guy, but he doesn't die. And so I hit him twice, and I didn't get detected. And uh, so right there, the list is actually on the table right there. That's how you know it's there. And if you mess up the stealth, you actually get a little notification. So if somebody spots you, you have basically like a second to take them out before you get um, uh, before you get detected. So even if they see you, you have a second basically to take them out before um, you get detected. You will get a little notification on the top left of your screen when you're detected. So that's how to get in the middle of the building from a different approach. Now let me show you the uh, final building if the list is in there. So now let me show you guys the third building across the street if it's actually in there. Now I'm going off of my second attempt, the attempt I showed you guys where I killed the guy in that building with the bow and arrow, that it was sleeping. And in this part, I didn't kill that guy, that those two guys on the side of the building. So what I'm going to be doing right here is I'm going to be crossing the street and I'm going to be keeping an eye on that guy just to see if he's there. Now, if, if I don't need to kill him, I'm not going to kill him because the more people you kill, you know, the bigger risk that there is of getting detected. So he, I didn't see him there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside this building. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just knife this guy. Easy. Just take this guy out quietly. That's it. Okay, we got him. And now if it's in this building, it's going to be on this table. Open up this lockbox. And we get the list. Now I know you're, you guys are probably wondering, how do you exit? The exit is the same for all three buildings. So it doesn't matter wh which building it's in. It's the same for each one. Now if you didn't kill the guy like me, that guy on the right side of that middle building, keep an eye out right now. So see, see, he's right there. I almost got spotted by him for a moment, but just keep an eye on him. Wait until the guy turns around, because he will turn around. Just going to wait a moment here. Wait for him to turn. Okay, he turned. Now we're going to cross the street. Okay, so now I'm just going to speed the clip up to save time. So the exit right here, like I said, it's the same for all three buildings. The only difference is because we have the other building where it's crossing the street. But other than that, it's the same. So if we have that building where the guy's sleeping, we go out the back. We have that single shack building, we go out the back. We have the building across the street, we cross the street, we go out this side. So we basically just go all the way back to the horse. So basically just want to go back to where you left your horse. Right on top of that original hill where you shot the guy with the bow and arrow. That's where you want to go back. Now, how we exit. What we're going to do here is we're just going to follow the river. We're going to stay on the right side of the river for now. And I, I know I accidentally fell off my horse there. Just watch out. There's a lot of bumps and stuff, rocks that you can hit. But just you'll be fine for the most part. So basically, just stay on the right side of this river right now. This is the easy part of the, um, of the mission. Once you've exited and you haven't been detected, you pretty much got this. Just follow this. Once, uh, stay on the right side of the river. And then when you get onto that path, when the road is there, just follow the path or the road. Stay on that at that point. Keep following this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to kind of see like another stream river. Get off the, the road right here and cross the stream river. The reason you want to do that is because there's actually a, a hostile enemy camp right there. So that's what you want to do. Stay on the right side now. Keep staying on the right side. Once you get a little bit away from the camp, just cross the river here and get on the road again. Again, I tripped. I'm sorry about that. I was rushing a little bit here. But basically do that. Just stay on the right side of the river. When the road um, uh, connects, follow the road a little bit. But then when you see that other stream, cross the stream, get off the road, stay on the right side a little bit, and then get back on the road, and then just follow the road at this point. Now, all we basically do at this point is we just follow the, the GPS route or the map route. That's all we basically do at this point. Just stay on this path, and you will get to Josiah, no problem, and the mission is pretty much over. And I've noticed that w when I completed this w w uh, without getting detected, I get around 
$30, $33 around there. When I did it, when I got detected, I got around 20 bucks. So if someone can confirm the payments to me, let me know. But I did notice I got a few more dollars when I completed it quietly. So I hope this guide helps people out. Um, uh, I hope that you guys um, uh, incur are encouraged to do stealth more because this is what I like. I like when a mission does something like this. I've been saying this for a long time. When there are stealth missions, the game should encourage you to do stealth. And if you do stealth, you get a bigger reward. You should get a standard reward for doing it, you know, the loud way, but you should get a bigger bonus if you do it qu uh, quietly. That encourages stealth. So I definitely do like this mission. I think it was a nice approach, and I think it was actually a challenge to try to figure out where the enemies are without them being on the radar here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any questions about this mission, any more um, uh, concerns about it, let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, do drop a like. I will have another GTA Vice City part up today, and, and another part of Ace Attorney. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next